you see the fight? No. Oh, my God, dude. This is one of the greatest heavyweight fights of all time. One of the greatest boxing matches of all time. <laughs> dude, that fight had us screaming. We were screaming. Oh, it was a, my We had goodness. an awesome watching party. Yeah. You know, there's something about watching fights with a bunch of people. It's very festive. You know, when everyone's screaming and cheering on, it's like it's more exciting. It's like you got a small crowd. It's almost like you're watching it live. I mean, you are watching it live, but you're almost like watching it in a small crowd. Yeah. It, well, it's just be able to watch that fight live yeah. and to catch it live because it, it was so good. It was so crazy. It was so action-filled. I mean, it was an amazing. From Tyson Fury knocking Wilder down early to Wilder looking like he was done. Why his right hand? Boom! Oh, yeah. He had Tyson Fury on Kawir Street. Look at how that punch. Kawir Street. Look at how that. That's what they call it. Because you don't know what's going on. It's odd. It's a word for odd. It's an old. It's an old saying. It's, look at this. Boom. Look at this punch. Look at the fat. Watch this fat ripple. Oh wow. wow. Look at that ripple. That's crazy. All the, way, all down. the way down. Bro, that's how hard Deontay Wilder punches. Let me see that again. Because that is. There's maybe one or two other humans that have ever lived that can punch as hard as this guy. He's, without a doubt, one of the hardest punches of all time. So he smashes Tyson Fury while he's getting his ass kicked. Smashes him with his right hand in the fourth round. Look at that fat roll down. Look at that fat. Look at it roll down. I mean, you, that's the shock waves that ripple through his head. Most human beings right there are going out. Most human beings. Shitting themselves. And then he hits him again and clubs him to the ground there. He hit him behind the ear. He He's a murderous puncher. But... The, the level of skill was so evident. The difference is Tyson Fury is a masterful boxer. I mean, he's masterful. The shit that he did was amazing. And his strategy was amazing. Just stay glued to Deontay, wear on him, hang on him, make him work, and just, just, just drag him deeper and deeper and deeper into these horrible waters filled with crocodiles. Yeah. That's what he did. And almost got knocked out doing it. Yeah. That's how dangerous Wilder is. Wilder is like, the opposite of Usyk. Like, Usyk is like this insane boxer who's like this insane footwork in motion. And Wilder kind of looks awkward at times, but if he hits you once, even if you're the, one of the greatest boxers of all time, like Tyson Fury, if you one of the great, he's without a doubt one of the greatest heavyweight boxers ever. Mm -hmm. Six foot nine, 277 pounds, and lightning fast. For a guy that big, he moves so well. He moves, his jab's incredible. I mean, isn't it crazy, Destiny? What are the odds that that guy, who could be Paul Jenkins or Mike Smith just as easily, his name is Tyson Fury. A heavyweight god is named Tyson Fury. What are the odds of that? It's amazing. Like Mike Tyson, one of the goats, Fury, 6'9". Yeah. Crazy. Gre greatest name of all time. Yeah. Well, his whole family was into fighting like he was learning how to box from the time he was a small small boy like he's always known how to box D uh, Deontay Wilder didn't even take up boxing until he was 19 and Deontay Wilder won a bronze medal in the Olympic Games a year and a half after boxing Wow, he's a special talent just just insane power but the difference in the level of understanding of where to be and where not to be how to move how to how to faint and how to draw reactions and set traps. The difference is out of this world. But Deontay hit so hard, it almost didn't matter. It almost didn't matter that Tyson Fury was so much more skillful and so much slicker with so much more experience. He hit so hard that it almost didn't matter. Dad's girlfriend had her head in her hands after that <clears throat> round where Fury got knocked down twice. It was crazy. Because she just, like, was. she felt bad for this guy that was getting beat up on and I touched her shoulder, and I go, that guy's going to come back and win this fight. And she goes, really? You might have been wrong. I could have easily have been wrong, but... Now you're talking shit. No, I know what the hell's going on. You didn't on. know jack shit. Absolutely. No one knew jack shit in that fight. When he got dropped, we all thought it was over. Because he got hit hard. You could tell. Like, when he got up, he was not really there. And then when he got clubbed in the back of the head and fell down again, or behind the ear and fell down again, I was like, oh, my God. But then he came back. He did come back. The craziest comeback ever was him in the 12th round of the first fight. That was the craziest. That's nuts. That didn't even make sense. But there was some controversy about this fight. And one of the controversies was the l extremely long counts when uh, Tyson Fury went down. Cormier believes Fury benefited from crazy slow count. That's right. After being knocked down by Wilder. Daniel Cormier believes the referee made a bad call in the fourth round versus Fu uh, Fury versus Wilder 3. Well, he's correct. This is what happened. The count is supposed to, the referee is supposed to go one, two, when the guy goes down. But if for any reason, he has to interrupt the count because, like, 
they're like another the fighter the the other the opponent needs to be told to go to the neutral corner you're supposed to pick up the count where the uh ringside counter has it so there's a guy who's counting ringside and he'll keep the count going so if you are at one two and then you like go to a neutral corner that guy's supposed to be like three four five as it should but he didn't oh he went back to it three Four, but the guy had already been down for a couple seconds. Without a doubt, it was a long count. That's bullshit. It's that's bullshit. the problem with boxing, though. That's what people have a problem with. That's like considered kind of like bullshit. It's like, one of two things. It's either a mistake, and the guy made an error, or maybe there's a. I don't think. I don't think there, those. There's a different law in New in Vegas. I don't think the law. I don't think there's a rule that allows them to do that. I think it's an error, it, or corruption. It shouldn't be up to the referee to count. It shouldn't be he can go one, two, three, or he can go one, two. It shouldn't be that. There should be a count. Right. It should be 10 seconds, and there should be like a LCD screen. Yeah. And when a guy goes down, it starts at 10. Mm -hmm. And when he, you know, when it gets to, or it starts at one or zero or whatever. I feel like without a doubt, like a gap where he was directing some stuff inside the ring. And then he came back and picked up the count. So it was definitely long. The question is, could Fury have gotten up? Maybe. But could he have gotten up two seconds earlier, three seconds earlier, whatever the extra count was? And could Wilder have jumped on him and hurt him again? Yeah, that's possible too. You don't know. I mean, when a guy gets that hurt, if you give him any extra time, is a bonus. Any three seconds, four seconds, that makes a big difference. That's between the world spinning and all of a sudden the world's not spinning active, right? One referee will stop a fight when a guy is getting fucked up and another referee will let it go. There's a lot of referees who would have stopped this fight earlier. There's quite a few referees where when Tyson Fury was battering Deontay Wilder, they would have stopped the fight, you know? And this was uh, Wilder's argument about the first fight or the second fight when he did get stopped. He felt like he could have kept going. Judging by this fight, he probably is correct. He probably could have kept going, but he might have gotten knocked out there. But he could have kept going. Like, in this fight, it looked like in that one round, I think it was the second, where Tyson Fury dropped Deontay Wilder and he barely survived and he made it to the, to the end bell. What if that was the beginning of the round? You know, what if, what if you know, uh, who knows? It's, it's, you never know. So could he have gone on from the second fight when they stopped the fight? Probably. You know, maybe it was like for his health that his uh, corner threw the towel and stopped the fight. Maybe they know him and they know how tough he is. That's what you see in this fight. You see how tough he is, how much pain and how much punishment he endured and still was dangerous, still hurt Fury. But when he went out, man, he went out bad. He went out bad. That's a bad knockout. Yeah. That was a bad. And Tyson Fury's hit the best because that's the kind of knockout that can end a career. Yeah. I mean, it might not, but that was a bad knockout. His eyes so show, show the knockout. He wings a left hook, misses it, and steps in with a right hand that just spins his head around. It was crazy. Yeah, hitting the mat, like, woke him up. He was out on his way down. Yeah. And when we were watching him, we were like, I, this is the greatest fight I've, I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So fun. The thing is, it's like, how, does he come back from that? Like... He's 35. I think his trainer said he doesn't want him to even think about it. He just wants him to do nothing but rest. Don't even think about boxing. Just take a rest. You earned it. Like, let's just don't don't get all anxious and ramp up for the rematch because that's what he did for this this fight, apparently, when he got beaten in the second fight and he felt like there was all sorts of controversy attached to it. And it got real ugly with the accusations. Like, he accused, all but accused his trainer of being involved in it. It was his trainer. It was Mark Breland. Was a, let's watch this again. Look at this. Watch the end. The left, here's the right. Boom. Oh, that, I mean, bro. Ow. That is crazy. He clipped him with the left, too. But the right was perfect. What a fight. When it was over, we were like, holy shit. What a roller coaster ride. Yeah. One of the most exciting boxing matches of all time, for sure. Hell yeah.